Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I've got uh, another product in today, and uh, while well, it goes right along with some of the stuff I've gotten in the past, uh, if you have seen, I've had a bread machine on here, as well as a uh, set of uh, loaf pans and uh, you know a few other kitchen items. This one goes right along with it. Uh, I've been cutting everything freehand with my bread and of course doing that can be a little bit uh, well not very accurate we'll say and so I went ahead and finally broke down and got one of these uh, one of the big reasons why I waited so long is I was trying to make sure I got one that was going to be big enough uh, the bread loaves that come out of the bread maker are pretty big much bigger than a standard uh, loaf of bread is and so I wanted to make sure that this was going to be wide enough that my loaf of bread is going to fit in there. So found out it is. And uh, this one I picked out for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first off, as you can see, it is bamboo. Uh, bamboo is uh, one of my preferences for any type of uh, wood utensils or anything like that that I use in the kitchen uh, because it is uh, antibacterial. Um, it has a natural antibacterial thing to it, so you know you don't get uh, the germs and stuff that might uh, be present on other types of wood, uh, depending on what it is. Uh, another thing is, is as it says right there, it is foldable. You can see a little picture right there. It is folded out, of course, and then when it's folded up, it folds flat. Matter of fact, why don't we open it up and we can actually see that. All right, everybody, so these are the pieces that are actually inside of the box, which really there's just kind of two pieces, the main and with this, and then you've got the paper. Um, this is about the warranty, and it does talk about a return policy on their warranty. Uh, so you can check that out, and then we have the basic instruction set right here, which tells us how to utilize this. Uh, so as far as it goes, you can see there's just some basic pieces to it. You've got two end pieces which have the feet, you have the cutting sides, and then you have the main base, which uh, as you can see, you can maybe see those little squiggly lines right there. That of, that's of course a telltale sign of uh, bamboo because those are where the nodules are at. Uh, so as far as I know, we flip this up like that, and there it's ready to be used. Um, now. What happens, if you didn't notice when I did that, is this has a spring lock. You have these two little grooves right here, and as I lift them up, they snap into place. So now it's in line. Uh, now they have this right here. This is basically a backstop for your bread. So you slide it on in there. Your bread can then slide up against it, and you can proceed on cutting. Now, one of the things you may notice is that we have some differences here in the distances between here and here. So we've got wider uh, cuts here. We've got narrower cuts here. We've got moderate cuts in the middle. Um, I believe it's three actual groupings. So like here, you can do like five or six pieces that are all the same. Then you've got here that are another like five pieces. And then you've got here, which would be yet another roughly five pieces um, of bread that you can sit there and cut. Obviously, if you're going to cut and you want them all thicker, you would take and move the little thing here. You would start at the beginning of your loaf, make your few cuts, and then you can take and just move this forward accordingly just to uh, set it up so that you're always pressed up against the back, so you're always going to have those nice uniform cuts. And uh, essentially, the instructions are telling you pretty much the same thing. Um, put in the back piece, you're folding it up, it tells you right here specifically how far and how many of these um, you can use for cutting, etc. Uh, now when you're done with it, obviously you just clean off your breadcrumbs and everything, then move these out, rotate them over, and then this piece just sets with it like this. You may be able to say maybe set it inside somehow, maybe fold it over on top of it, like that, for example. I don't know if that'll work, but something to that effect where you can try and, and keep it in position. I think right there is probably works. So there you go. So then it's right there. 
Uh, it doesn't lock in, so you don't have anything to hold it in, so that's just something to be aware of. Uh, but when you go to store it, you can then store it up on end or uh, lay it flat, and then if you need to, you can set some stuff on top of it if necessary or whatever. Uh, but it makes it really nice where you don't have a big giant box sitting on your counter all the time. You can fold it flat, put it in the uh, up in the cupboard, and have it out of the way, and then when you do need it, you can just pull it out, open it up, and you're ready to go. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to get uh, some bread here and try this out, so I will see you again in the kitchen. All right, everybody, so I've got a loaf of bread here that I made earlier. Uh, there was another video when I did make this. Um, as you can see, it's not real tall. Uh, it is nice and wide, though. This is uh, roughly 13 inches, so it's about the length of one that you would buy at the store. Uh, as you can see, I have this all set up except for the little backing piece, and that being because, as you can see, this is wider than the cutting area. So if I put it up against there, I'm going to have a whole big section that is hanging off the end. And uh, I want to kind of start it so that it's relatively even from the beginning. Um, now I am planning on doing the wider cuts right here. So I'll be doing those with this um, because I will be using this for small sandwiches. Uh, that's essentially why I got it set up like this as a bigger one. Um, I think I let it proof a little bit too long so that when it was baking, it didn't rise properly uh, once I put it into the thing. So hence the reason why it's a little bit low like that. But uh, let's go ahead and put it in. And uh, we've got our, of course, our original cutting board that uh, I was using and the bread knife here. I'm going to go ahead and use the bread knife and use that as my stop for there. And let's go ahead and get our first couple of cuts. Oop. And there it is, almost fell off the side there. So we've got our first slice. Let's uh, slide this over just a little bit more so we don't have to worry about that again. We'll get our next one. see we've got our even cuts with our little heel piece and uh, we can continue to to do that I will move it up and uh, I don't know I think I can do more than maybe I can do more than just the four uh, but uh, yeah that might do might do five right there five or six maybe maybe I just miscounted how many you, I could get across here but uh, yeah, I just sit there and continue to do this, and uh, then that way I know that they're all in line and uh, going to be the same distance. So uh, now I have got lots of, uh, or I'll be able to have lots of sliced bread homemade rather than needing to worry about store-bought or cutting them so it looks like I'm coloring with crayons and am about four years old. So uh, helps considerably. Uh, I've tried using other things to keep my lines straight, but you know, without having something on either side of the loaf, it makes it rather difficult. So this helps considerably. Uh, now, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Of course, there's going to be a link to this on the Amazon site as well. There's going to be all the links to my social media as well as uh, PayPal, Venmo, the things to help out the channel if you'd uh, like to do so. Definitely appreciate that. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. Uh, that way you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.